Are you serious? Are you serious? I mean, we're talking about an enormous solar flare update uh, from, the, from the United States of America, from the White House. They're preparing. The White House, I repeat, is preparing for a coronal mass ejection, a potential catastrophic space weather phenomenon. Now, this is an actual article. I'll put it in the description below. While many people are looking back on a pivotal, this very pivotal year of 2015, there's been famous deaths. There's been terrorism. We know we've had, you know, Charlie Hebdo in Paris. We've had the Paris attacks on Friday the 13th. Uh, we've had San Bernardino. We've had wars, rumors of wars, the Iranian nuke deal, apocalyptic things, earthquake in Nepal that killed 9,000. We've had uh, more earthquakes over 6.0 this year than ever in history. More volcanic eruptions on the earth this year, more than ever in history. More sinkholes opening up around the world ever in history. Uh, the, warmest, the warmest temperatures of the planet ever in history. Simultaneous, three simultaneous cyclones hitting Australia at once, never before in history. The most strongest storm to ever hit landfall, 200 miles an hour in Mexico, strongest in history. Back-to-back -back cyclones in the Arabian Sea in one week hitting Yemen, never heard of before in history. And the solar flares, massive CMEs released from these solar flares on the sun. The sun has been more active, more volatile, more expressive in its release of coronal mass ejections or CMEs than ever before in history. And the extreme weather conditions that are uh, taking place around the globe this year is, is remarkable, actually. But the White House uh, has made preparations for an unpredictable and severe space weather events. I repeat, unpredictable space weather events. And much of the clamor focuses on the possibility of a catastrophic cor coronal mass ejection striking Earth. Um, according to videos that's been released now, the White House, an intense solar flare narrowly missed a direct hit on the Earth by just a matter of days, back in 2012, we were not informed about its potential calamity. Now, NASA says an intense CME launched towards the planet at speeds of over 6 million miles an hour narrowly missed us. At that speed, it would have taken the enor an enormous flare 13 hours or so to reach our atmosphere. Consequently, the effects would have been catastrophic. As the news journalist says, it would have thrown us back to the ice age, so to speak, as many power grids would have been taken offline. It wouldn't have, it, now it would not have sent us back to the ice age, but it would have fried power grids on this planet significantly. Now, in October of this year, the Obama administration, um, has published the National Space Weather Action Plan under the auspices of the National Science and Technology Council. The scope of this plan is a 44-page document for the 44th President of the United States and is defined as such, quote, with the objectives of improving understanding of, forecasting of, and preparedness for Space weather events, both the phenomenon and their effects. The National Space Weather Strategy defines six strategic goals to prepare the nation for near and long-term space weather effects. Now, you guys know I've, I've, I've had Mike from around the world on our show for over uh, two years ago. He talked about there were going to be significant atmospheric space weather effects coming upon the Earth. And, and what's called atmospheric compression, five waves of energy, one of which has already hit the earth back on August the 17th of this year, and it was just a very small ripple. 
Yet the effects have, broke, have caused us to break records in earthquakes and volcanoes all over the planet this year. Uh, four more waves are coming, but the second wave is of, a, of biblical proportions as we're uh, anticipating its arrival. We're not sure its date yet. We don't have a date yet. And it may be this is what the White House is trying to prepare for. They may be using uh, this volatility that's taking place on the sun uh, to step up measures of preparedness. They could use these reports also to implement uh, uh, a soft martial law. That's why you may be seeing all these armored vehicles being strategically placed across America, even in small little towns, uh, preparing for a paramilitary environment in case things are out of control. Now, we know that, uh, you know, there's a lot of reports go on as it relates to Planet X. But what we're dealing with here is a tangible reality. And now that uh, man has got the ability to keep a closer eye on what's t ha taking place on the sun, we find the sun, there are great signs in the sun. Now, the Bible said in Luke 21, verse 25, for there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, and men's hearts fail them for fear of things coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. It's going to take place. Men are going to die because they know what's coming. They'll just fall over dead. Because the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he says, lift up your heads, look up, for your redemption is drawing nigh. Well, the White House is going to try to prepare in a different way. The preservation of the world and humanity. The National Space Weather Strategy defines six strategic goals to prepare the nation for near and long-term space weather effects. NASA describes the solar flares or coronal mass ejections as huge bursts of energy that launches materials from the sun. If the Earth's orbit takes it into the path of the solar mass, the results can be disastrous for a race highly dependent on electronic technologies. Once scientists painted on an, uh, an ominous picture of what could have occurred had the planet suffered a direct hit from a solar flare three years ago. We're just now getting the report. It happened in 2012, and we're just now getting the report. Uh, if it had hit us, says the scientist, we'd still be picking up the pieces. Um, so this is very, very significant report just now being released by the Obama administration, a 44-page document on uh, preparedness for potential catastrophic space weather event from a massive coronal mass ejection. So we're going to continue to keep an eye on it. It is biblical prophecy because the sun will become volatile. Matter of fact, even a third of it will not even be visualized. There are several things that could cause that. But certainly these signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars are a part of biblical prophecy that we are experiencing right now. I'm going to continue to keep you up to speed. We're going to talk about this because we've got all kinds of things to talk about actually as it relates to the earth today with the, uh, the methane leak in California. Uh, uh, a dead body found at the radioactive waste plant in Carlsbad, New Mexico. What's that about? We have all kinds of things happening right now in the Middle East. And, um, and including Yehuda Glick is now been moved to the next person to be uh, put on the Knesset. And you know, I've already met with him and interviewed him, and I've already met with Avi Lipkin and interviewed him. And now Avi Lipkin is running for the Knesset. So it's possible that these two men could wind up in the Knesset, folks. Uh, and uh, it's just, you just don't know. Things are shifting and changing. God's putting people in position, I believe, for such a time as this. Are you saved? I mean, it's time to get right with God, folks. Are you seriously considering your soul? Call on the name of Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.